Hi, I'm Matt Nyer. I'm a senior applications engineer for Makino, and today we're going to talk about how to calibrate the automatic workpiece measurement or the probe on your DA300. For this, we're going to use just a one-inch Joe block that we have. Uh, ceramic's good, Joe block. We just need to make sure it's a it's a qualified gauge. We're going to use our master tool that comes with this machine, and between those two systems, we use this master tool to calibrate our uh, ATLM. So if we use that to calibrate our probe, we're going to get rid of that mismatch or at least keep that mismatch to a minnow. So first things first, we make sure the machine is referenced. Okay, we're going to go into manual mode here. We're going to use this to identify our Z surface. Okay. And what we want to make sure what we do is we're doing this as we're going away. So we're going to try to slip this block in as we're moving the master tool away from the surface. So if we look, we got plenty of room. Now, a little trick here. MPG, some of us aren't real good with these fingers here. We use our thumb. It's a dead man switch. We have to hold that switch halfway. Flip it 180 degrees and use your pinky to hold this halfway. It allows you to use your thumb to do the motion at the machine. So you'll see it's a little more, e a little easier to control with your thumb. So we're going to move this so that the block does not go in. Okay, and then we're going to switch resolution. So we can slip it in. Back a click. Next resolution. And then at the very end, what I want you to do, go to the highest resolution. I want you to go one click away and one click back and check your fit. Okay? This is to take out any little bit of error that the MPG might put into the system as the design tends to have the possibility of doing that. So once we have our values here, we're going to set our work offset. Okay, we're going to use our measurement button here. We're going to take our tool length into consideration. That is our master tool with our master length on it. And if we look, we can put our gauge block size in. Okay. And that's going to add to that. We want to go more negative to locate that surface. We hit input. There's our value. The other thing I'll do is I'll quick capture my X value, machine coordinate, not take anything sensation into consideration anything with the tool. I just want to input it. I want to do my Y location as well. That way, when we change tools here to get the probe out, we can quickly find that location. Right? So we'll call up our probe. So we have the probe in the spindle. We're going to use that location. And we're just going to move over to the location where we did the uh, Z-touch. So we bring that motion over. We're going to hand wheel down to about 10 millimeter above, maybe a little less, somewhere around there. Make sure we're on the solid spot that we touched. We're going to call up our 8025 uh, probing program, easy set probing program. We come all the way down to N330 here. One thing we need to match is our make sure that our uh, ruby diameter is input correctly and our work offset is the correct work offset where we put our values. At this point, we can go to the end block and we hit cycle start and away we go. When that's completed, we can go back. We can see now that our probe length has been changed. And obviously, you want to write down the number it was previously and compare it to the number that you have now. After we complete the calibration of the probe length, we're going to move on to the calibration of the probe in the X and Y. This one's much easier. So the biggest thing here is we're going to use our calibration ring that comes with the machine. It is serialized. It has all the dimensions on the side. So when we go to our 8025 program for N320, we want to make sure this information matches the sticker. Okay, we're good here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we have an empty pallet in here we can mount this to. It has three points of contact with magnets. It's going to suck itself on there. And then all we're going to do is run this probe down in the center, approximate center of where that is. Make sure it's clean on the inside. Make sure we cover the high part of the ruby. We're going to go back to our program at N320. Memory. 
turn our feet up to 100. I have the rapids at about 10, cycle start, and away we go. And that completes the calibration of your probe on the DA300. And that was today's tech tip.